Hi, my name is Paul Fiddler, a field sales engineer here at Meraki. Today, we're going to talk about Cisco ICE and how this integrates with Meraki Systems Manager. ICE configuration details can be found in the organization MDM page. Right down at the bottom, we have our default enrollment network and the setup URL, username and password that you will need for ICE. ICE allows you to detect whether or not a device on your network is managed and also the compliance status as well. So how do we firstly create a compliance status? We'll go to Systems Manager and we'll go to Policies. As you can see, I've got some created already, but I'm just going to create a new one. We're going to call this ICE policy. And as this is going to be demonstrated using mobile device, we're going to select passcode lock, that it's not compromised, and that our device is above a particular OS version, such as iOS 14. We'll go ahead and save that. Now what we can do is go to Systems Manager and General, and we can actually now, for this enrollment network, tell ICE what we actually need to do. So we're just going to go straight down to the bottom and you'll see ICE settings. We're just going to choose our ICE policy that's been created and we'll be able to include or exclude devices based on a whole bunch of criteria. We will go ahead and save that. Now I don't have an ICE network in which to demonstrate this with, so I'm actually going to use Postman instead to show this. So firstly, we can check that everything's working fine by using those credentials, using this particular URL at the top here. And as you can see, everything's good. So what we can do firstly is check to see if a MAC address exists. Uh, the MAC address is up here. And as you can see, there is no device enrolled with this particular MAC address. We can check against a MAC address that is enabled. And you can see that this particular device is quite happily enrolled and it's come back and the compliance status is true. We'll check this against our iPad mini and you'll see actually that this particular iPad mini, the compliance status is false because there's no passcode set. And also the OS version is below the minimum that we've just specified. So I hope that helps you understand how we create an iSecurity policy and how we also check that devices are enrolled and also compliant or non-compliant against that security policy. Thank you for watching.